Okay, so I just wanted to make another video on how to aggr reduce aggression in your cichlid tank. Uh, when you keep it, when you're keeping African cichlids, especially, aggression is inevitable. You're gonna have aggression, you know, from the day from the next day you when you put your fish in, because you know that's just how they are. Um, there's uh, ways that you can combat it using uh, overcrowding the tank and it works but you need to put like you have to have superior filtration like uh, I think this is kind of overcrowded a little um, maybe I could add a little more fish but I have a penguin emperor it's the biggest one that they sell it's right here um, I have an Aquapira 110 and a Eheim 2270, I mean 2217, sorry, I'm pretty sure it is. So I guess like about 200, 300 gallon filtration on a 125, not bad, but uh, I'd like better. I mean I'd like to ditch these HOBs because they make a lot of sound as you can hear. So yeah, um, about aggression, uh, overcrowding, that works, you can do that. Um, let's see, keeping all males also is a good idea. Um, to tell the difference between male and female, males are more colorful than females, so they look better. So like, this guy is a male, definitely. Um, so keeping males by themselves, I mean keeping males by themselves leaves like no females to fight over because they don't have to fight over any uh, females to breed with or anything so they're just, you know, chilling. Um, let's see. Another thing that can reduce aggression is putting big pieces of like decorations like this huge piece um, like that really big piece I mean that really big um, plant or something because that reduces like sight lines I think so like um, the fish won't see as much or something or the fish will be distracted by these things seems to be working right now um, other things could be like also in retrospect you could take out everything so then the fish won't have any territory to fight over so you know you just gotta try um, just try and if it doesn't work then try something else uh, Cichlids for cichlids. It's a lot of uh, It's a lot of you know putting in fish and then taking them out if they don't work um, So yeah It's just But once you get the right mix they'll be um, Completely fine uh, If they get once, like, once they get into a certain hierarchy, they won't get super aggressive with each other. But when they're building up their hierarchy, they tend to be more aggressive. And the last thing you can, or at least uh, two more things you can do is you can turn off the lights for most of the time. If you turn off like for the whole day because if you turn off the lights then you know they'll be more chill and they can't really see the fish and they'll probably be in like some sleep mode or something I don't know but it works for me um, uh, I have windows right next to my tank and if you think that it will get algae I don't really have any problems with algae in this tank because I have like uh, I think RODI water so, for this, it's not necessary, but I already have it, so 
from using it. Um, so yeah, I just have the lights on the windows that is lighting this tank for the most part. Um, pretty much when guests come or like when I want to view the tank, I just turn them on for like, I don't know, an hour or so, and then lights go back off. Uh, and, you know, that seems to reduce aggression. Also, reducing the temperature can reduce aggression, too. Because there, I think it has to do with metabolism or something, where they, um, you know, if they get, like, if there's less temperature, they're, like, they have less energy, so keeping them like that. Feeding them, get, keeping everybody um, with a full belly keeps uh, less aggression, and probably the most important thing to keep le like less aggression in your tank and to keep your tank peaceful is a tank boss. Now, you want to have a tank boss that is like a pretty chill fish um, that doesn't like um, really aggress with other fish and it's a lot of trial and error um, so that's where the trial and error part comes where taking the tank boss and taking fish so I think this Taiwan reef is the tank boss of my tank and you know he's doing a pretty good job he's keeping this tank pretty chill um, no one's really hurting each other I'm a little afraid of, uh, if I can find him, he's like a horror reef or something, uh, Ambuna. The Ambuna is the stuff that I'm most concerned about, because they usually get more aggressive than the Haps, like this guy right here, this horror reef. He looks nice, so, you know, that might be an issue, might not, um... So yeah, this guy is a pretty good um, tank boss, and he usually, I mean, he makes the tank, um, makes the tank, like, not aggressive, everybody's, like, peacefully coexisting, so I like him. Um, so yeah, that's probably the most important factor when seeing aggression. Um... So yeah, the, um, if you want a tank to be like chill and not really um, chasing around each other, I mean, you're gonna have chasing, chasing around and fin nipping as something like you're just gonna have it because like if you're keeping cichlids, that's just like something that'll happen. So you're just gonna have all of that stuff so the only problem like the only things that you should be concerned about is if the like if the friends are being uh, nipped or something if it's not too bad like this guy has a little bit of nip fins but it's not terrible you know so like the only thing you look for is like open body wounds and like uh, blood yes blood can get on fish um, blood you know, sicknesses, all that stuff. But for the most part, all the fish are doing well. Uh, hoping to get some growth out of them. But, you know, it takes time. I think it takes like two years for them to grow. But, you know, overall, uh, it's a nice tank. Thanks for watching.